How's it going? Adam Drake here, and today I'm going to share some information on tuning your ESCs. So I have here my Mugen MBX-8R Eco Buggy with the Hobbywing XR8 Pro G3 ESC. So the settings that I want to focus on today will be drive frequency and brake frequency. So we'll first touch on kind of some of the settings and why I use those settings in 8 scale and also touch a little bit on the 10 scale side of things. So one thing to understand with drive frequency and brake frequency is it doesn't change the overall amount of speed or brakes in the ESC. It will change how you get from basically neutral to full throttle or neutral to full brake. So the frequency is essentially as the drive frequency number uh, is higher, it's essentially making it more steps or changing the resolution of how you're getting from neutral to full throttle. So the higher the number, the more steps, the smoother it's going to be. So on the throttle side, typically you'll run a slightly higher number or frequency than you would on the brake side. And that's purely because you're trying to put the power to the ground. In most cases, a lot of times the cars have more power than the amount of traction we have. So you'll run a slightly higher frequency there than you would on the brake side. On the brakes, you're not quite as smooth, especially in eight scale or anything four wheel drive for that matter. So for me, I like to start or my standard setting for the drive frequency would be 8,000. And if I'm on a track that's really low grip, I need to uh, basically smooth that out. Um, you could slightly raise the drive frequency, maybe to 10K. Um, and you could also go the other direction if you're on a high grip track or a track with uh, jumps right out of a turn where you're not worried about having too much wheel spin, you could maybe drop that drive frequency to 6K. So on the eight scale side of things, I think that's a pretty safe range between 6,000 and 10,000. Uh, like I said, my baseline or my standard setting is 8,000. And there's also tons of other settings you can do to smooth out the power uh, with softening value, softening range. Um, but today the video is focused on drive frequency. Um, but I do have other videos out there that you can, can look at. On the brake side of things, like I was saying, normally you're not quite as smooth on the brakes, um, especially with a four-wheel drive car. So we typically run the brake frequency lower. Now, in the past, we used to run, or I personally used to run, a much higher um, brake frequency um, than what I do now. So now my standard brake frequency is 2,000. So in the past, I would run my brakes between eight and 10,000, but I would notice that it was harder to kind of be precise, especially when following other cars. Um, I felt like I would have to run my brake force or brake EPA much higher. So the last few years, I've run a lower brake frequency. So again, 2,000 is my standard for buggy. And then... I run a little bit lower brake force. So typically my max brake force will be around 60%. And then on my radio, I'll set the EPA to around 85%. So why do I do that? Like I said, in the past, it, I always kind of was thinking, oh, you want the brakes to be really smooth. Well, what I learned from testing was when I turn the brake force down, that obviously also makes the brakes smoother. But if the max brake force is turned down and you run a high frequency, it just feels like you have no brakes. You just don't have as much feeling. Um, so I started lowering the brake frequency and I felt like I just was gaining that feeling back, that precision back. But again, when you make it more aggressive, on the frequency side of things, you may need to reduce the maximum brake force. And this is a setting that 
you may change depending on the grip level um, if if the grip goes up or um, like if I'm running my eight scale electric truck I use very very close to the same settings but I run a little bit lower brake frequency I'll run one or I'll even customize it and make it 1.5 because you have a little bit heavier vehicle you have bigger tires with more contact patch so you can have a little bit more aggressive uh, brake force by having that frequency a little bit lower. So all these settings can be adjusted using uh, the Hobbywing um, LCD programming box or uh, the little Bluetooth box. I keep the Bluetooth um, module in my radio case and then the LCD programmer box um, you, can, you can have in your bag as well or at home, but it's super easy to adjust the settings and hopefully this kind of clears up things and makes you understand uh, drive frequency and brake frequency to give you a better feel on the track, which should also help uh, reduce lap times and improve your results. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe.